Hey, everybody. Welcome to Perpetual Motion, a podcast focused on lifestyle, self-care, personal empowerment, and positive relationships. I'm your host, Dr. Mo Anderson, best-selling author, award-winning podcast host, TEDx speaker, and speaker coach. My goal for every episode, every episode is to elevate, educate, and motivate you to become your personal and professional best. If you're new to the show or a returning visitor, let's make this official and hit that subscribe or like button, depending on how you're listening to this podcast, so that you'll be notified of new episodes weekly. Now, you see this beautiful woman here with me today. My guest, Charlene Byers, is phenomenal. And normally, I look through a bunch of bios and information and I come up with an introduction for my guest. But in this case, she has written her own introduction, which is so spectacular. There was nothing for me to do but read it. Charlene says, I'm Charlene Bias, a relationship expert, certified empowerment coach, and women's revolutionary mentor, revolutionary. I help women heal their hearts <laughs> and attract devoted, masculine men who want to be in a long-term relationship. Most of us would take any of those attributes, let alone all three together. <laughs> and she's on a mission to equip single successful women with the tools they need to attract the man of their dreams. Yes. Assuming you're not having nightmares, the man of your dreams. And stop wasting time on ghosters, losers, mama's boys, nice guys and a holes <laughs> what's not to love welcome charlene well hello mo this is wonderful that that kind of summed it up like who who wants any of those right who wants those those oh goodness gracious none of it none, none of them that's a lot of work mo that's a lot of work you know when we have to deal with that absolutely a lot of work so so i i I've told all my friends that you were going to be a guest. This is not yes. a topic that I've explored a lot in hundreds yeah. of episodes, and they are, are really looking forward to this. I wish we could have done it, done it live, but we're going to hit up all it's, of their questions, and I know you're the it. person to answer it. Answer I them. love it. How'd you, get, how'd you get into this area? This is such a unique little niche that you have. It is, isn't it? I know. I know. Um, so how'd I get into this area? So let's see. I think it really just started from my own personal journey. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I was, uh, I'm married now. And for a moment there, I was a single woman. And for a moment there, I was married to my ex-husband who I was in love with um, for 23 years. And so I was, I was in a marriage with a man that I was in love with. Mm-hmm. And I felt like, you know, it was, I was going to be with him until the day I died. But the reality was, is that, you know, um, him and I, you know, we, we, we didn't, I would say we, there was for sure love there, but there wasn't true like compatibility. There wasn't true connection in the way that I wanted. And I was very young, Mo. I was very young when I got married Mm -hmm. and I, you know, I did everything like, you know, we try, I try to do all the things that I thought I knew, but I didn't know anything because no one teaches us about these relationships. Oh! No one teaches us about the relationships. No one teaches us about like why, you know, we attract certain people in our lives and why, you know, they, I didn't know any of that kind of stuff. Well, so I they, don't, they don't know, right? You the don't know. They don't teach us is because they don't know. No one knew, right? Because you just go based on, you know, like I always say, I feel, this is how I always feel. I'm like, I feel like we're these, we're children <laughs> and we grow up in whatever environment we grow up. Okay. And then all of a sudden it's like, psh, we go out, like we come out into this jungle. We're like, oh God, what do we do? I don't even know what to do. How do you handle people? How do you handle, call? you know, all of that? Well, that was me. That was me. I mean, you know, that's what happened. Yes. So, but then what happened was I was also a mother with my ex-husband. I had four children and I have four kids. Wow. Yeah, I did. Wonderful. yeah, yeah, I, I birthed four kids. Yeah. And uh, I, so I have um, four children. So I was married, you know, with him and I knew that things were just not good. And I knew that, oh no, mm-hmm. I, I'm going to have to make a decision here. I'm going to have to make a decision and leave. Mm-hmm. And I knew at the time that, you know, that was obviously for me. 
the hardest decision. I mean, honestly, the, the hardest decision I can ever expect to make because I, it, you know, I had four kids. Of course. Yes, I had four kids. But what I realized was it's okay. Because if you are in a relationship and it is not, you know, if, if, it's, if it's becoming toxic and it was becoming toxic and if the, and if it's, um, and if it's not kind to respect, and then when I'm talking and I'm telling you like the truth, I mean, I'm talking about like, you know, relationships, of course, people are people. So relationships are not going to be perfect. There's no perfect anything, okay. but there's a difference. There's a difference. There's a difference between having a relationship that there is the respect there, the, the kindness and the alignment. And there's a relation and there's, and there's a difference between the relationship that I have with my ex-husband, which there wasn't the respect there, you know? And I, had, I felt like I had respect for him, but looking back now, the way that I looked at relationships, the way that I approach relationships, the way that, you know, I did relationships is completely different than how I do it now. I have to tell you that, yeah. um, you know, I, I had a lot of also inner work that I needed to do as a human being. I, you know, my, my, my background, you know, my childhood was pretty crazy. You know, my, my, both of my parents are from Cuba. So I'm first generation. Mm -hmm. So I was the one that basically, you know, they spoke Spanish. I had to, I, it, it was, there was a lot of moving parts in my childhood and it was, it was kind of dark. So I knew that um, the men that I was attracting, like my ex-husband, you know, I was used to those type of men. Right. I was. Was he also very passionate? Because my friends who are Cuba, not to you know, categorize any group, but tend to be very passionate, like the family I grew up with, just loud talking, real passionate, colorful, everything bigger than life. And I kind of looked for that. I ended up looking for that as well. Yeah, no. So, so my culture, yes, yes, we are very, yes, that's really actually, it's, it's interesting that you said that because in general, because every culture has something in general, the Cubans are very passionate, very, they, we explore where everything's a party. <laughs> everything's a party. We, we know that that's how we live life. That's really our culture. And my ex-husband was the opposite. My ex-husband was, um, no, there, okay. no, not, not, not that. <laughs> not that. <laughs> more conservative. Yeah. 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 He was definitely, oh my gosh, he was definitely more conservative. And you know, the interesting part is he's, he's a good person. He's actually a good guy. He's actually a good guy. He's a great father. He's a great father to our children. It's just, I knew again, I, there was, there was different factors. There was different factors. It was, you know, us just not, we already established. This is, oh gosh, I can just go on and on here. Okay. We already established me and my ex-husband, a pattern. And once you establish a certain pattern in relationship, it means it's almost like an act of God sometimes to break it. Okay. If, if the alignment is not right. Um, relationships that, you know, that, that you can work with it. If, if the alignment gets off, that's normal. It's okay. It's okay. You know, if the alignment gets off, it's okay. You can get right back on and get going again. But there's that, that was the difference between my ex-husband. The alignment was never really there, you know, and, and, and really our relationship was really based on um, sexual attraction, a lot of uh, attraction in that way. And so that's what happened. That's, <laughs> so, true. that's true. Lust, sexual attraction. That is true of how yes. relationships get started and why they stay together. But that's not enough. For it won't last. It, look at me. And, and let me tell you something. That's that's why I, I know you asked me how this got started. There's so many reasons why I'm doing this now, because I had no idea about, you know, what happens when you meet someone and and your hormones go crazy and all, and all what we call, what we call that happy hormone all, and everything just starts making, really what happens is it's, it shrinks your thinking. It puts you in the, 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 the happy state. So when you're falling, this is what I say, this is how I kind of make falling in love. When you're falling in love, when you think you're falling in love, but they're not necessarily right. falling in love, right? Yeah. And you got all those, you got all those hormones firing up, Oxy, tell all of them, all those good ones it actually, it like stops your critical thinking. That's what really what happens. That's why when you're falling in love and you're with someone, there's certain things that I teach. So you can really put yourself in a different position to make sure that you are, you know, really, really getting to know this person, not, not just based on what's going on with you when you're not, when you're not on your game, you know, when you're not on your game. 
Not and just so that's charming stuff going on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I, so what happened was, so I, I ended up leaving that marriage mm-hmm. and I found myself single, single, you know, being an older woman, I, um, you know, mother of four and, and I, you know, I'm a very successful woman. So I, I ran my own house. I, you know, did my own thing. So when it came to like finances and stuff like that, I was fine. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, overall, like I would say, I truly like had um, a life that I enjoyed. You know, I had nice friends. I have a nice family and I was somewhat content. But oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, OK, Charlene, you know, let, let's 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 see what this is like, this whole dating thing. Did you take you know? a break? Oh, gonna- yes. I took a break. I took a break, I took a moment, I soaked it all in, I did a deep dive, I did some work, you know, I did all of that, because there is That's a stage, incredible. Yeah, it is really is, because I'm, I'm just saying there, there is a, what I call it like a, a resting stage from a, a, a relationship, and to going into another one, mm-hmm. we really need some space here, to really, you know, like just take a moment to, to analyze and not, and not in a way, like in a negative way, but really to see what happened, what worked, what didn't work, yeah. um, what, went wrong. <laughs> what went wrong and what, what, how was I showing up? Because yes. relationships, and you know, this relationships take two people. Absolutely. They take two people. So when someone always tells me, was that other person? I know that's not true. I know that's not true. I'm not saying so. Like when I say to you, my ex-husband was um him and I were in alignment and and he had a very strong personality but the reality was I was in a relationship with him and it took two people okay. to make it work or not make it work you know and and so it and it it takes two people to want to show up and it takes two people you know to want to to work this through and that's what wasn't my case yeah. so now I'm a single woman and I'm like so I take my time and now I'm like okay and oh my gosh, let's go and then guess what happens this is this is it i go out i start dating oh my god that was a a show that was a show <laughs> that was- yeah it's, it's not what people think it's nothing like six in the city or whatever show it wasn't it's like that it. no it <laughs> wasn't like that it wasn't like that and and i didn't understand why like it was weird because i was a, i was a sales trainer so i was traveling and i was a sales trainer and i was really busy and i was i would say i was now what i tell people i was i was really much in my masculine energy you know as you see yes as you see me okay. um you know i'm very friendly and i'm a kind woman but when i was in business and when i was in dating mm-hmm. i had a different energy I, I really did i i had no idea i had no idea how to shift this energy cuz i was still more in my go, 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 busy, busy, busy. I remember I was running a house. I was a single mom. I was working full time. I was doing this. I was doing that. So that was the energy that I was bringing out there. So what, what I started realizing, a lot of the men that I was attracting were men that they, like, honestly, like they didn't have any direction. They honestly wanted me to be like their mother, kind of. They wanted me to make the decisions. They wanted me to like, you know, they were asking. And I was like, oh, this is not, I was not attracted to that. That was, that was such a turnoff for me. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I get that. Especially when you've been making decisions all day, everywhere. And then you got to decide everything about the date too. It's like, hell no. I was like, oh no. Oh girl, no. <laughs> so anyway, so. Yep. So I'm sitting there. Yeah. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, so I'm going on these dates with these guys. And then, or I would get the opposite. I would just get these jerks and just guys are playing games. I was like, oh, this is not fun. Mm-hmm. Narcissistic, a lot of that. All of it. Yeah. yeah I did all. Right. Yeah. I, all of it. And what I learned was mm-hmm. that there, there are actual things that really play a part in what we're putting out there and what we are actually attracting in, 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 in the energy in the universe. Okay. And yep. And so I was putting out there more with my energy, allowing myself to really bring in those type of men because I, I, I wasn't aware what I really was wanting. I wasn't aware what, um, how I wanted to feel. I was just doing what people do. You go on a date and you got to see if you like this person. And then I would go on these dates and I was miserable. 
because I was so up in my head, Mo. Like I was so like, like, okay, is this guy? I, I honestly, you see how relaxed I am and how fun I am. You I was not like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like I am. But on the day that you were, you were anxious or overanalyzing or. Over- I was like a boss. I was just kind of up in my business, not like me, but I was asking a lot of. I would ask guys a lot of questions. I almost not that I thought that I was. I I didn't feel this way, but I guess that's how I was portraying, mm-hmm. like kind of like. Like I was the shit. And and the guy, you know, the guy's like, who are you? I wasn't being real, to be honest with you. I wasn't really showing up, Charlene. I was so masculine. And I was like just like not relaxed. Okay. Not allowing the work now that I do, not allowing myself to just chill out and be in my feminine. Because when a woman is in her feminine, I, I know something. It's our intuition. You just know. You just know you don't have to ask all those questions. You don't have to be like that. Your 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 body, your 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 intuition is going to know because when 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 you're up in here, when you're thinking and you're trying to analyze this and all of that, you actually miss out. You truly miss out because sometimes what you'll you'll say you'll be like you're analyzing this, and there might be guys there that are actually decent guys, and you might have attraction show, but you you say you'll say no when you mean yes, or you mean yes, or you mean no, because you're not allowing yourself to just trust yourself. So, okay, <laughs> so that was one step, and then on top of that, I had no idea that the way that I truly believed how men were and how men showed up was really playing a factor also in what I was attracting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And let me, let me explain this to you. When, when we, remember I told you earlier and, and, you know, when we grow up, right. So it, 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 it just, it doesn't matter. It just depends on based on however you grew up. So you, you would, you, you, me, you know, we either had a mother, father, or maybe just a mother, just a father, a caregiver, you know, whatever we came into. Okay. And based on how we grew up and the environment that we were in. So like if we were in environments that were, you know, very loving and kind, or we were environments that were very hostile and hectic and whatever we, whatever we heard and saw and however we felt loved started really truly affecting us. And it got wired in our nervous system. So you get used to a certain way of how people react to you. And so it starts from when you're young. And usually it's about from birth to about seven years. Your your brain is like a little sponge. So it will. Yes. Your your brain is a sponge. So it will literally take on things because when you're born, it's like you're you're born pure. We don't have we're, we're born pure. We don't have when we're born. We don't have the anxiety. We don't have shame. All, right. like, we don't have that, you guys. We don't have anxiety. We don't have shame. We don't have any pure. of those things. That No, we're pure. We're absolutely pure. That comes as the environment starts getting into our nervous system, okay? okay. So I grew up in an environment that the, 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 the men weren't nice. I grew up in an environment that was very uh, male dominated. You know, the men run the show. Right. And so you had, it, it was, it was in that way. Okay. And I, I, my mother, my father, they ended up divorcing. So I was about four years old. And then my mother ended up marrying a, my stepfather mm-hmm. and he, it was horrible. No, it was yeah. just, oh, my. Oh. no, my father was cool. My father was cool, but my father Oh, I don't know how to explain my father. Okay. I don't know how to explain so, my father. That's that's another story. <laughs> gotcha. So the stepdad is the one who caused yeah. the confusion. I thought you yeah. meant your father. That's why they got divorced. Okay. I'm, I'm no, wrong. no. My my mother and my father got divorced when I was four. Okay. And I really didn't get to be raised with him because my mother moved. She moved out of the state and we moved to another state. And so, all those things impacted you. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And they impacted me and they impacted me on what I truly was kind of like used to in a man. I, I honestly didn't know until I mean, years later, like I really wasn't around an environment mm-hmm. that I saw, you know, two people really have that really beautiful, kind, respect relationship. You know, I, I was always environments that I just saw toxic relationships. I just saw people yelling all the time. I really believed, I swear to God, I literally believe that relationships, you're supposed to yell and scream and you fight and, and it, it 
I, I was like, oh, this is how they do it. Okay. Because that, that's what was presented around me all the time. And so that's what I believed. So you got to go by truly, you have to understand what is it that you believe? Like, like, and I also believe, let me tell you what I believe. I did. I believed all men were jerks. I did for a long time. I was like, oh, they're just jerks. Guys are jerks. <laughs> they're just so difficult. They're just jerks. It's not true. That's not true at all. But right. that's how my belief system was. Because I never worked on that. I never even understood that. I never even understood that's that. Critical. That's critical. And I never understood how that was playing a part in how, you know, I was, I was really like dating and really attracting, you know, men. Okay. So let's shift all that. Okay. Let's shift all that. So then I'm in this, I'm in this, um, this kind of like, what's going on, girl? What's going on? So I learned some stuff. Okay. Yes. Tell so us, I learned some stuff. What did you learn? Help us learn. <laughs> I'm gonna help you learn. Her learn. I learned some stuff. And what I did with the things that I learned, I decided to like, I'm like, okay, there is a process here. There is a process here because I noticed something with women and especially, you know, high achieving women, women that are, you know, where we're go, go, go. We're busy, busy, busy. We, we, we take care of ourselves, you know, like we, we're, we, we take care of ourselves. We're in a position that, you know, we have to pretty much do it all alone. Okay. We're, we're single. We are, you know, doing it all. And we're not in a position that we're actually looking for a man in a financial aspect. We're actually looking for true alignment. We're looking for, is it possible? Can we have real partner? Can I have a partner? Cause that's what I wanted. That's what I was looking for. And so I decided, okay, Charlene. That's, a, that's what you call yourself, Charlene. Charlene, that's my name, Charlene. I said, I said, I said, I said Charlene, Charlene, what you gonna do? What's, what's gonna happen here? What are you gonna do? Well, my mother calls me Charlene. But I said, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna happen? And I went in, Mo, I did it. I went in and I did some deep work and I figured something out. I figured that there's a, um, what I call, what I now I have developed and I call it the aligned partner attraction formula. And the Align Partner Attraction Formula. Okay. And it's a process that I take women through that find themselves pretty much where I was at. Find themselves, you know what? What is up? Why? Are, are, where are all the good men? This is, this is what I, this is what, this is what I can, what? Are there really still good men out there? What is going on? Are there? What's up? Well, the, if they find themselves like that, if there are women that are like, Charlene, I truly Oh my gosh, like I'm cool being by myself, but you know what? Honestly, of course, I really do desire, just like you were talking about earlier, Mo, like I truly desire like a real partner, a partner that can do real life with me, you know? Right. Day to day, right? Day to day. Yeah. I love what you said. I love that you said something. You said, you made a comment. You said, yeah, you're having a partner that is interested, just literally. Tiny details of the day that, that we're not just talking about the highlights, the stuff I put on Facebook, but someone who's interested in my health and my welfare and, and what I'm afraid of and what I had to confront throughout the day and celebrates, you know, that non-narcissistic person who can celebrate when things go well for you and you don't have to tiptoe around it and try to avoid it because of how they might feel, you know, a confident yes. person. It was yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. And that's what I wanted too. And it's interesting because I have that now. I just want to tell you that. Yay. I, I know I'm remarried <laughs> now. I, I'm remarried now and things are good, but it took me a moment to, you know, like do this. And that's what I'm saying, because all of us, I mean, really, when you think about it, um, we're all humans. We all go through a lot of stuff. We all, you know, we all have life that happens. And there's certain things that we get to, you know, that we learn and certain things we don't. And, and there's a lot of moving parts here, right? There's a lot of moving parts here. Mm-hmm. And, and what I know is that to be able to do the work that I'm doing now right. and find yourself and be able to show up, like that's what eventually ended up happening to me. I was able to like, really, I can tell you from the bottom of my heart, just be Charlene. And when I, when I was able to just be Charlene and get out of my head and all the analyzing and all the freaking out, things actually really started shifting for me because I knew that first of all, (laughs) first of all, we choose, let me say women, let me, let me, let me just say this right now. This is the best part. We get to choose 
who we decide to be with. We get to choose who we decide to stay with. We get to choose who we decide to commit to. We get to choose who we decide to sleep with. We get to choose who we were going to be with, honestly. Right. We have options. We have all lots of them. options. Yeah. And so when women start understanding that they have these choices and they have options and there's no rush here because we're going to take our time to get to know people because that's what's happening also right now. What's happening is a lot of us, we just don't take the time that it really actually takes to know another human being. So I teach also, so not only that I, 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 I go through my aligned partner attraction formula, which is first all about understanding you know, the masculine energies and the, and the feminine energies and how I was and, and, and how there's nothing wrong with any energy. Like women and men both have both energies. It's just learning when we're talking about romantic relationships and we're talking about polarity, there's a difference. There's a difference because we're not talking about friendships and for it to be romantic, right? Because I'm like, oh, us women, we're like, I don't want a friend. I, I want a lover. Like, forget. <laughs> we're talking romantic. Right, right, but you, you, you also learn a unique friendship underneath. Oh, yes. That's not the foundation. The no, whole, no. All of that, like we were you saying. need all of that. Yeah. But, right, but, exactly. it, but to have, to have a, when you are a person, you know, looking and dating, Really, it is, it's, it's, even if you have that compatibility in the friendship, you need also that attraction, that polarity, Absolutely. because if you don't have that, mo you're going to have a friend. Mm -hmm. We don't need any more friends. We want lovers that are friends. <laughs> when people are always telling me, well, I'm friends with everybody I ever date. I'm like, well, good for you. But I, <laughs> you got that. I, that was what I went out there looking for. I got thousands of friends, <laughs> literally. So if that was your goal, but, but I think, yeah, tell me. ask you this question, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. talking a lot of things here. And, yeah. and one of the things I clearly hear you saying is not to, you know, go out for those who are looking, don't go on these dates, interviewing people, oh. and, you know, as if they're a prospective mate, but just be yourself. And oh, I got more to say. Yeah. 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 And then also that don't be desperate right because that's the other thing that i've heard some of my god friends say is that women are just like you know one date and, and they're all over them and they're calling all the time and they're sweating them it's the man saying and and that's a big turnoff is and that you know you're acting like i'm the last man on earth here and i don't know that you know i want to take on that energy as well so what what are the shifts you need to adopt like some very specific things to get a, a, a breakthrough so that That's you a good can question. show up authentically yeah. as yourself. So, so one of the things we, we, I say all the time is like, first of all, we need to, if we're going to be dating and we're going to be like, you know, looking for our perfect partner, our line partner, you name it, right? Like Mr. Right, all of it. One of the first things that I ask women is how do you want to feel? Oh. How do you want to feel in a relationship and how do you want to feel with the men? Mm -hmm. Because if we're going to just, I don't just talk about like the external stuff because that's, I mean, excuse my language, that stuff changes, that changes, life changes. Very much so. Okay. Yeah. And, and I'm not just talking, I'm talking about what is it that you want to feel? And that's what started shifting for me because remember when I was saying when I was dating, I kept attracting guys mm -hmm. that like what I say, they had no spine. They were like the nice guys, but the nice guys are really not nice. Hmm. The nice guys are not really nice because the nice guys won't have like, they, they won't lead their lives. They're literally looking for you to lead their lives. The nice guys, um, actually they play games and they lie. They don't tell you the truth. They just tell you what lot. you want to hear. A lot. The lot. And it's actually a phenomenon right now. And women are wondering why we have all these nice guys. It's because women are allowing nice guys in their life. And they're allowing these guys to just, just be, it's kind of like a, like a bump on a log. It's just, they're just like, just not really doing anything. And women are, are very frustrated and they're trying to be the therapist to these guys and, and try to fix them and try to help them. And I want to say right now, 
That is not our job. Our job is not to fix another human being, change another human being. It, that's, 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 that's not what it is. The person that you are attracted to, the person that you want to be with, they already need to show up. Okay. They already need to show up because I'd say you got to believe people who they are. You need to believe people and how you have to, you have to believe people, how they show up, not what they say. So one of the things that I think is so crucial when you were asking me, like, how do, how do we shift this thing? First of all, I teach women also oh, a different way of dating. And before I get into the dating part, like I was telling you earlier, before we get into this dating part, when we talk about their mindset and really shifting, shifting this, they have to know what it is that they want to feel and what it is that they're actually looking for in that way. Because if a woman says to me, so when I ask this woman, when I ask women these questions, this is how I know if a woman is kind of like where she's at and what she's looking for. So one of the questions I ask women, I'm like, well, what do you want to feel? A lot of, one of the questions women say to me, they're like, I want to feel safe. I want to make sure that this man is good guy. Like he's a good man, you know, like he's, he's not going to mess with me mentally. He's not going to mess with me, you know, physically, because I want to feel safe. I want to feel, I want to feel safe, protected, you know, that, that taken care of. Mm -hmm. And women tell me, you know, and I, one of the things they tell me too, honestly, all the time is they're like, listen, I want to be pursued. I want to be chosen. I want to know, I don't want wishy-washy. Oh, no, 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 no. I want to know that the man wants me, that he's into me, you know, that, that I am his one. And they tell me too, they're like, and, and this is a deal. I actually want to be seen. I want to be seen for who I am. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? I don't want someone to try to put me in a box or try to change me or anything like that. I want to be seen for who I am. So when women tell me this, I'm like, oh, okay, I got it. I know what they're wanting. They are really actually attracted to, believe it or not, the masculine energy, okay? Because the masculine energy and a masculine man with that energy, they, they're different than the other men that I was attracting. When a man is also in his energy, mm -hmm. he is completely not in a position, he's not going to compete with you. He's, he's not, he's not going to compete with you. He's not going to, he's, he's not going to want, you know, he, he's not going to want you to have to like change him or do anything like that because he's going to be secure in who he is. When you're dealing with an emotion, when you're dealing with a man that's in his masculine and he knows what he wants, he's, they're the type of men that are solid. They're the high quality of men that know what they want. Those are the type of men that are not going to play the games with you. They're going to pursue and they're going to, and they're going to let you know if they want you. There's not going to be a confusion here. And so what I tell women is you got to find out, you got to give yourself an opportunity to get to know different people. Okay. Like seriously, they take dating in a different way, because if you're taking dating in that traditional way, just going on a day, see if I like him, And if he checks all the boxes, then you're, you're going to be like, I was, it's just not, it's just going to be boring. It's not going to have fun. But when you, but when you are more open, and you're learning what it is that you really want to feel. And you chill out. You actually kind of relax. And you don't put, this is what I tell women, oh my gosh, don't put, when you're dating, when you're a single person, do not put all your eggs in one basket. Oh, no, 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 no. Until that man literally asks you to be in a committed relationship or to be your girlfriend or something like that, then you guys, then you don't owe anybody anything That's and who and, and if you had a man if you're dating and you have a man that is not pursuing you that is not wanting you know to to ask you literally are you will you be my girlfriend will you get off of the dating site you know will you be exclusive with me mm -hmm. then your dating dynamics continue and they don't just continue with one person no because that's not what dating is about Dating is about getting to know different people. And when you get to know different people, you really get to see what it is that you're attracted to. And you get to see how men are actually pursuing you right. and how men are with you. And then you get to repel the ones that are, you're like, oh, no, 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 this one doesn't even call. He's that, you know what I mean? Like I, I have, to, I'm, you get to know what it is that you want and you have fun, Mo. You have a good time. You fun. And, and you're right. You don't know the differences. If you just so quickly latch on to somebody and, and hang in there until they've mistreated you so you get thrown off the merry-go-round, 
but you really and and you know I, I, when I was dating after I'd gotten divorced I had to clarify to my sons as well dating does not mean sleeping with everybody dating <laughs> means we are having a meal we're going bowling or whatever so going to a concert going to different things we're gonna go for a bike ride we are actually gonna get to know this person yes. because yeah. because it if you be easy stuff right too it doesn't always have to be you know oh casual make it just have a good time because this is the deal when we meet someone when we first meet a human being, mm -hmm. right? What I call is we as individuals, we have what is a picture frame of what we believe that human being is based on how they're showing up and talking to you, okay? Mm -hmm. So let me give you an example. This is why I tell women, I'm like, let's slow it down. Let's get to know people. Let's get to have fun here because things change. So here we go. So let's say for an example, this is why I teach the system called the relationship revolution. It's, it's a system and how to really get to know someone, how to get to know them, trust them, rely, commit, and then touch. Okay. And I'll tell you why this works this way. Okay. So you have this picture, you have this picture frame of what you think that person is. So you meet this guy. So let's say your girlfriend um, is like, Hey girl, I'm going to invite you to a party. Come over. So you're like, yeah, <laughs> come over to the party. You're like, yeah, we're having a good time. Everything's great. All of a sudden, seriously, you see this guy at the party. And, and for you, as a woman, you're like, oh, oh he is good looking. You just you had this attraction to yeah, him. You're like, oh, well, I don't know what is up with that one, but that was a good looking man. Okay, beautiful. So you're already kind of like a little fired up. You're like, oh, he's a good looking man. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, let's say that good looking man comes up and talks to you. And you're like, oh, okay, this is cool. Okay, cool. So now he's talking to you and, and, and you're like having this nice conversation. And all of a sudden, this guy has this little humor. And then you're thinking, oh my God. He has a little humor like my dad. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He might be a good guy. Yeah, he's like, and he's showing you this, you know, this like little humor and he's being cool. And then all of a sudden you guys are talking and he's saying all the right things because any human being can say whatever they want to say. This is true. But I feel a butt coming up. No. But is it true or not? We don't know. How do you know it's true? Because anybody can say whatever they want to say. So the guys, you know, and they can act however they want to act. We can be like, oh, I think I know this person. Okay. You don't know people until time goes by. That's the honest yes. truth. It's you don't true. know. You cannot tell me. When people, they're like, I know him. I said, no, you don't. You don't know anybody until time goes by. So they, so now the guy says, he, the guy's like, hey, um, you know, you know, this and that. And, and all these things are firing up. You're like, oh my God. Then you ask him, you're like, what do you do for a living? And the guy's like, I'm a pediatrician. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> right now. And then all of a sudden, you guys are kissing, and you're like, you know, up, and then you're like, what's oh, happening? Okay. Yeah, yeah, this right happens the all the time. Yes, you went to the outside in the backyard, and now you're like, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> You almost made me choke, girl. <laughs> and this happens. I swear to you, this happens all the time. Us women, we we, we get we rush it, okay? So now you're like, <laughs> Yeah, we can. Yeah. So now you're in this relationship with this guy. Seriously, I swear to you. Now you're like, oh, this is my dream, man. Texting your friends. Yeah, I met him. He's good. He's a pediatrician. He loves kids. <laughs> but this is what happens. This is reality. This is reality. Okay. This is this is real. Okay. So this is what really happens. Okay. So now time is going by, and now you're in this relationship with this guy. First of all, he probably didn't even ask you to be his woman. And you just assume now we're in a relationship because you slept with them, okay? And a lot of times women think when they sleep with men that we're in relationships. And a lot of men are like, we're not in relationships. I'm still getting to know people. <laughs> so it's there's a difference here, right? And so, so then now time is going by. Mm -hmm. And you're noticing something. You're noticing. You're like, oh, this is interesting. I notice every time that we're out and about, he's Mr. Friendly. Gosh, but he's awfully quiet and moody when we're home alone. And then you start noticing this. You're like, gosh, you know, I've been noticing, you know, he's really, really moody. Wow. And he kind of like has a tendency to like, oh, you know, those people, little condescending, a little passive aggressive. Like, I've been noticing a little, this a little make, me, make me feel a little uncomfortable. Oh, okay. But you know what? But he's okay. 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 Then some time goes by and your girlfriend comes to you and she says, hey, I did a little research. 
Do you know you're, you're the guy that you're dating? Do you know that he's been fired from three pediatrician things and he's actually not a full-time doctor anymore because he had something with kids? And you're like, because you never took the time to get to know him before you're already in this committed relationship with this person. And when you put all your eggs like that in one basket and you don't give yourself that gift, right, right. it's a gift. You, it's a you, gift. You, you made me think about something too. I, I have a friend who's in a happy relationship now, mm -hmm. but for years she would meet these guys. And like you said, oh, he's an engineer. He's an attorney. It was always something about yeah. his title or whatever. But yeah. when I would ask her about the guy. It was always about what he did. Nothing about it was like how she felt. Externally, how she felt, how he treated how he her, made her his yes. character, his personality. Yes. Nothing. And, and none yes. of those relationships worked. And I knew she had met a guy with a lot of potential. Oh my gosh, this is just coming to me. When she yep. got and she was like, Oh, he's so good to me. He's so kind. And I was kind of like, wait, what? Yeah, huh? Huh? Right. And I was happy to hear it because I was like, that matters. Those it matters. Are important qualities that you're talking about. Now, yeah, you want a guy with a job, but if the only thing you can tell me is his job and his car and his his things, there's nothing about No, there's nothing about it. And that and that is the reality. Because how people are and, and this is why I say something too. Let me explain this too. Mm -hmm. Especially men, listen to this one. How they show up in the beginning, it's the silly as good as it's going to get. So if you already have a man that's like, oh, you know, it, it, this is why I always say women, I said, how do you feel with him? Because if you're in a relationship and you don't feel good, then you need to honor yourself. You need to honor yourself because it should not feel off. It should not feel like, oh, okay. the jabs. You should not feel that. You should actually feel when you, this is what you want you to see, hear this loud and clear. When you are with the person, the right person, you're going to feel warm and fuzzy, period. Mm -hmm. Warm and fuzzy. And if you are with a person and you don't feel warm and fuzzy, honor yourself. Honor yourself because something's off and something's not right. What about those people who say, well, women especially when we get to be middle age that you're yeah. too picky you got this list you're looking for jesus do you think some women are not honoring themselves because they've heard that so much that you're just too picky you want too much so they're like okay i'm gonna make it work this time and just ignore all these flags that you're talking yep. about yeah and i think and i think that we can't ignore anything i think it's important to again because we're we're talking about like being in a romantic relationship with another human being, that's huge because that's going to affect everything. Right. Because when you're in, when you're, when you're in a good relationship, you know, again, what, what I say to you, relationships are not perfect, but relationships are not supposed to be toxic. Relationships are not supposed to be disrespectful. Relationships are not supposed to be all that because if relationships are toxic and disrespectful, don't be in a relationship. Right. Relationships are supposed to enhance your life, not detract. Relationships where you come for comfort. Relationships where you come home, mama, you come home because the outside world is hard, right? So when you have, when you have, well, the outside world is hard. So when you have your person, your partner, your, your, your person, that's where you come to. That's where you come for safety. That's where you come for love. Mm -hmm. So if, if that person is bringing you hell and that person is not bringing you love, that's not your person. We got to go. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's, let's talk about intimacy. Yes. We, yes. we talked around that a little bit, but how do we create more intimacy when we do find our person and we're feeling good, but we want to keep things going. Yeah. Yeah. So with, with intimacy, intimacy is all about trust. Okay. For a human being to be able to be intimate and allow themselves to go there with another human being, mm -hmm. you have to be able to trust that person because you're trusting that person with all your vulnerability, all your insecurities and all of who you are, okay? 
Okay. And, and to have true intimacy with another human being, intimacy starts with honesty. Yes. Deep, brutal. And I'm talking microscopic honesty. Okay. Because when we, because this is it. If we are not, if we are in a romantic relationship, like you said, so now we're talking about now we're not dating, we're in a romantic relationship and we want to create more intimacy with that person. First, do we feel, do, do we trust that person? Do we feel, you know, that we trust that person? Because a woman is not going to be able to allow herself that vulnerability and that intimacy and, and going there if she doesn't have that, she doesn't trust this person. So if you're not trusting a the man, there you go. Something's off. Something is not right. Okay. okay. So because when you have, huh? I'm sorry, I just gotta, I gotta go back to that trust thing because yes, you hear so much, and I tell me, I say about women, they have trust issues. I mean, there's so many things to make you second guess yourself and, and guess like you, you, and and not trust your intuition. So it, it's your feminine it's, embodiment. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's that's what it is so this is what this is this is another thing I'm, this is I, I teach like I said as a principal so I teach women now what I call is a forgotten skill so I teach a practice called feminine embodiment and it's a form of yes it's a form of meditation but it's a movement meditation it's it's almost tribal it's it's amazing it's one of the things that I have learned that has actually helped women get unstuck because a lot of us women as we talked about it's right. not our fault. We're, we're great. It's not our fault. We, we, life is hard. <laughs> Trust right. me. We're amazing, ladies. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you. Let me just say this right now. Nothing's wrong with you. You're not broken. You're not shattered. None of that. Broken. You are wonderful. Okay. It's just life. Oh, yeah. It's just a lot of life. Okay. So anyway, so what happens is, is what I talked about, I was already talking to you earlier of all the stuff that we start holding on to and all the, all the stuff and right. all of our past relationships, all of our past hurts, all of the things that we're, we haven't gotten like over, honestly, we say we have, but we really haven't. What happens? This is real. It gets like, it's almost like how I explain it. It's like frozen tension in your body. Mm -hmm. And there's only so much talk therapy that you can do. You have to be able to release that energy. Okay. It's a shift in the energy. You got to be able to release that energy because a lot of women are so frozen up. Like I remember I told you we're, we're so disconnected with our bodies because we're so up in our heads because we're, because, and that's another thing. That's another thing. How, like how society, when everyone's tell everyone's all this noise and all this noise, they're telling us, I'm serious. They're saying, oh, well, you got to go, go, go. They're, they're going to be, the more you do, the more you go, the more yes. successful you are, the happier you're going to be, the more we're burning out. Yes. Um, oh, hell no. We're burning out. And material stuff. And it really, you look up one day and you're like, I don't give crap. You're like, I don't give it. I don't care. Yeah, I'm I want to please <laughs> let me have a man help me too. Like, let's have partnership. I'm like exhausted. Yes. So, yes, yes. So I went, to, oh my God, I just went, I just had a blank. What was I just talking about? That was so exciting. <laughs> oh, like, just the, the frozen inside. Oh, yeah. the, so, so, the so, what, so what I teach now too is feminine embodiment movement. Okay. Embodiment. Because that's one of the things. You know, because if you're, if you are so stuck, and because I've always, you know, as you notice, I, I don't know, I work with a lot of women and a lot of times they're, 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 they're really like, they're almost on flight or fight mode. Like, you know, they're, they're just, they're, they're really, yes, yes, yes. Really racing. And I'm always like, I'm mama. I want to give them a big hug. I love them. You know, I don't want to give them so, so much love. And they don't have, you know, the tools and, and the things to just, yeah. yeah, because this is the deal. When a woman is able to come back to herself, okay, and, and really learn herself in a way that maybe she hasn't had an opportunity before and learn, oh, why do I believe what I believe? Why do I do what I do? why this and who's this and all, and all of that you get to learn you know you get to learn something that you haven't before and you get to show up the way that you want to show up and you get to have what you want not what other people have been telling you to do right 
And that to me is the most amazing thing because my work starts inner. So my work starts with having the most relationship with yourself first, because when women have that type of relationship with themselves, dating becomes easy. It becomes fun because they know they're like, I'm good. Let's, let's just have a good time. Let's see. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's a different energy, Very but if she's not able to do that, then she's going to find herself what I say, the racing thoughts, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, you know, or the racing thoughts where I call them the dis, dis, disempowering thoughts because of that, that brain will mess with you. I always say, be careful because it's not telling you the truth. It's, I call it the, can I tell you what I call the, the noise? What do you call it? Itty bitty shitty committee. <laughs> okay. Cause it is like all of it, right? It's, it's that, I, I'm a, I, I talk to it. I'm like, oh, oh, hell no. I don't have room for you today. Don't, don't start with it. Don't, don't, no, you can't do it. No, no, you can't do it today. No, you don't look good today. No. Oh, just, the voices get louder too. They get yes. louder. It's like the more, I'm like, the more you have going on, why do the voices get louder? Too yes, the, yes. It's, it's crazy. So, so that's why I'm like, I help those voices go night night. I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, because we're going to create the experiences and the way we want to feel ourselves. No one is going to create it for us. No one's going to knock on that door. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. So if you want to have an amazing relationship, you're going to create it. If you want to literally find an awesome dude, like honestly, a great man, you're going to create that because you're, that, that is, that is what you're going to be. You're, you embody that. You embody that. You realize that I'm the price. You know what I mean? I'm good. I'm good. And, and allow men, as I say something, allow men to chase you, allow men to pursue you. If you having to chase or pursue a man, he is not your man. You're dealing with a feminine man and you're going to be having to do that the whole time. Yeah. It's not going to work. Absolutely. It's not going to work. It is not going to work. It's not going to work. So yes, yes sorry, Mo, what are you going to say? <laughs> no, this, this has been awesome. You have covered Everything I, I was planning to ask, what we should be looking for, how to create in, intimacy and why, why dating is hard. And, and to be fair to the men, they, you know, it's hard for them too. It's not just yes. hard because. That's, oh, oh, you keep saying stuff that are really, oh, I love that you're saying this. Okay. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm a mom. Well, guess what? I have three boys. I raised three boys. Two boys. I got two. <laughs> okay, so I love the men, and I remember it's interesting because again, I had remember I had I grew up thinking a certain way, and then God only gives you what you can handle, and then He was like, "Oh, you're gonna get the boys. You're like, you're gonna, you got this girl. You know, because I have three boys and one girl, and then I have a bonus son, so I really have four boys, awesome. and and one girl. And what I realized is that whatever it is truly that you are desiring. And if you are desiring to be in a relationship where there's kindness and respect, then you should get that hundred yes. percent. And so that is not being too picky. That is not like th that. That to me is when you don't settle and you will find that because the more that you like honor that as a human being, the more that you're like, you know what? I'm cool, but I have a uh huh. I have my boundaries. And if you're dating someone and they, and they are not respecting your boundaries, stop dating that person. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm on board with you. 100%, Thank you. Because it's, it's, it's going to get worse too. Have boundaries. Because when you first start meeting a guy and if he's all trying to get like be overwhelming you and you haven't attracted, but he's overwhelming you and he's going too fast and he's like acting like, Oh, you, that, that's a red flag. You need to slow that down, okay? Because if it's really that good to be true, then guess what? It's still going to be there in six months. Yes. Yes, made that mistake. You you are absolutely right about that. Yeah. What, what, what is the rush? And, and the age is, is not a reason to not- No, nope, the age is not. There's no rush. And, and, and let's say for an example- um, and I told you when I, when it comes to dating, I always, I always teach women how to date. It's like a funnel. I say date multiple men. Cause you're not committed to anybody. You're there's nothing wrong with that. You're only getting to know different people, period. There's nothing wrong with that. You will find your person. I swear. If you keep, if you keep doing the old traditional dating ladies, you go on a date with the guy, you get off the dating site and you just date the one guy. Mm -hmm. No. 
You're, you're literally putting yourself in a very disempowering position because then what you're going to do is you're going to be concentrating on that one guy. You're going to put all your attention. Is he calling me? Is he texting me? You're just going to be too much, too much, too much. But if you're like, okay, and you're like, I'm just going to relax here and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm going to really see who's coming to me, who I'm, who I'm feeling it because you're going to allow that, what I call, what I call the dance. The dance. Allow the dance. Give it time. The dance is what is meant to be. It's meant to be that that's the juice. That's the fun. And that's what I would say. I love it. This has been wonderful. This has been so much fun. If, if you have listened to this interview, oh, thank you. interview and you have not gotten some really great advice and married or single, I, I've married or single that could benefit any relationship. Yeah. And, and my big takeaway is that you deserve to feel safe and yes. loved and at peace. And it is not natural. It is not normal to be anxious and frightened and worried and walking around on eggshells all the time. You don't know nope. like that. And honor yourself. Honor yourself. Yes. Before we go, tell folks how they can learn more about your, your wonderful services and programs and your website. Cause you've got, this is just the tip of the iceberg y'all. She is broad and deep. And living proof that you, you, she, she's practicing what she preaches. Yeah, so, absolutely. Know. Right. We, absolutely. Thank you for saying that. Thank you for saying that because, you know, I, I know with all my heart, like if it's possible for me, it's possible for anyone. It really is. Like we all, we all deserve love. We all love, you know, we're love. And, and so sometimes I always tell women, I said, so like I told you earlier, I said, listen, it's okay. It's okay. And remember, it doesn't matter if it's your first time, your second time. It doesn't matter if you've had like, you know, not the best of luck in the past. It doesn't matter if you're still hung up on that guy from 1987. Let's get over that. Let's move on. <laughs> That's Rock him on social media. Quit stalking him. <laughs> and move on. Move on, mama. I swear your man's out there. I promise. So, yeah. And you can fall in love more than once. You know what I mean? Like seriously. Yes. And 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 life is, will keep moving on, and it's okay. It's actually okay. So if you want to get a hold of me, so if this is resonating with you, ladies, if you're like listening to this and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm also, I'm, I'm noticing Charlene. Yeah, I'm, I'm a busy woman. I'm not having the best luck with men. I'm not sure what's up. I have this amazing, um, free training. And I would love for you to, um, you know, on your show notes or however people can get to it, um, just yes, the absolutely. link. So it's a free training. It's a free webinar. And it will literally just let you see like certain things that you're probably not aware of yet and what you can do and the shifts that you can make as a woman and start shifting to start attracting a different energy because this webinar is, is my work. It's my work. And so um, so I, I, I have that, you know, I have that available. I would love for, I always say that that's like the, the entry to my world because it really gives you the framework. So it's my webinar. It's called How to Attract Devoted Masculine Men in 30 Days or Less. And um, it's, it's awesome, awesome. And then um, I'm all over social media and I, I like to have fun. I'm, I'm a kind of a goofball too. So if you like Instagram, I'm there. I'm MS. Charlene Byers on Instagram. I'm on Facebook, the same thing, MS Charlene Byers. I have this amazing um, free private Facebook community. I have over like 2,500 women in there and it's called Level Up for Love. So if you're a Facebook person, you know, come join me in my group. And then of course I have, I'm on TikTok, LinkedIn. <laughs> oh, YouTube, I'm everywhere. You're so I there. have, I love to provide, um, I have a lot of free resources I'm all about, you know, really having women have the most amazing relationships. So just reach out to me. Just reach out. Absolutely. And we will drop those links in the show notes. Thank you. It's been a great pleasure, my friend. Thank you. Oh, my friend. You're amazing. You're amazing. This is a wonderful. Well, and Absolutely. I wish for everyone who's joined us that they have exactly what you have in your home right there. I'm looking over your shoulder and I see love. And I wish that for all of you. All of you. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.